Okay, so you guys immediately get over. And you see that there's two troopers. 327 troopers that seem... They, they're huddled, talking, but they seem injured. They're scared. And now you have Spider on your back. Rot. And Spider, what's your constitution? 11. You are now unconscious. All right. So... So, uh, Spider, you can no longer talk or communicate in any way, shape, or form. You've okay. not, you've gone unconscious from the pain. So I would meet, meet your mic until we say something or whatever. Uh, you two troopers, where's the closest CP at? Oh, you, wow, they are big. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. Sorry. So what are you saying? Uh, you two troopers, uh, where's the closest CP? <sighs> There's nothing... The uh, Wookiee Village. <laughs> and they just, they seem super disoriented, like they have no idea what's going on. You realize oh. from, you recognize them. Could you, and, and at a brief moment, you before, you realize, they're pilots. They're the pilots from the thing, and one of them's bleeding out, the other one's kind of more stable, and he walks up to you and he goes, my friend, he's, he's super injured as well. We, we we can't make it through this forest. We just don't know where to go. We know there's some Wookiee village. We believe it's east of here, but we don't really know. Uh, uh, we, we searched all of these trees and all of these buildings, but they seem to be completely unoccupied. Alright, uh, alright. Pull, your, pull yourself together, trooper. I mean, um... So I make sure that Spider is good and stabilized. Right, sorry. Duh. All right, so you immediately check his leg. And what's your intelligence? My intelligence? Mm -hmm. He is... I think it's just basic 10. No, 11. So, but still plus zero. Okay, yeah. You check his leg. You can see that he's not bleeding or anything. He, def he won't die, but the pain is immense. You can't heal anything with your current, uh, you know, knowledge or whatever, or anything. You're not able to help him in any way, shape, or form, at least not to your knowledge. Uh, by the way, if you personally know what would happen if you had extreme burns uh, mm -hmm. and damage instead, you know. But if your character at the moment does not know how to do this, so he's still unconscious. And so you check on him, and he's he's not bleeding out or anything. He's not going to die, nice as far as you know. I'm just looking for bleeds. There's, there's no... He's not bleeding out. It's just extreme burns. Okay. And then I'll take a look at the uh, the uh, second pilot who's appeared to be critically wounded or wounded, right? Yes. Okay. So, injured pilot is going to be pilot two. So this is pilot one, pilot two. So pilot two, he's unconscious, and you can immediately tell what is your intelligence. Uh, it'll be 11. Sorry, you already said that, but I just yeah. I need to confirm. It's, it's okay. It's okay. All right. You can tell. You, for some reason, miraculously, know way better now. You take off his helmet, and you can see that his head has a giant gash on the side. He's obviously suffering from some sort of concussion, and if you don't get him to some, something medical soon, he could get permanent brain damage. All right. Um, I tell the, pi the pi uh, first pilot... Um, the pick him up. Oh, we're gonna get. We're gonna try to find the closest CP, and um, I'll be sling spider on me, and I'll take point. Okay. So you both you um, sling him. You um, sling him on each I, other's backs. Quick, and I asked him um, before you go down. Did you had any good look around the lay of the area? This area? No, there's no possible way. I mean. You might be able to get a signal out here, but unfortunately, there's just too much dense forest to really get a good idea of what's going on. Okay, so we need to find an open area so our comm links can reach to a nearby unit at least. You can, no, you, he said you can use your comms now. Oh, like, okay. it'll, yeah, yeah, it'll go through now. Okay. If you'd like. Just gotta find out who to call. Um, I, I will report to the visor. All right, Colin. Uh, yep. So he picks up. 
You know, you can tell. All right, troopers, what's the situation going on down there? All right, so our position has been overrun. Um, we have fallen back to the forest right now. We're re I just regrouped with uh, some downed pilots, but everyone seems to be crucially injured. And we need uh, directions to uh, the nearest CP. Oh, well, now from my understanding, then, you, why why did you guys not hold the beach? I mean, what, from what we, we, we saw, you guys totally could have handled it. Three three HMPs, a uh, couple of DSDs, and some snail tanks. You guys do that every day. What's going on? It's just two of us, and all the Wookiees got mowed down. With what? How? It was a... I don't know, sir. It's just overwhelmed. Uh, right then. Uh, is there anything you, we we need to warn the other guys about? What's going on? Is are they using any special tactics? Uh, bombing uh, yes. runs? They're they're deploying uh, the spider droid. Octa pop 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 whatever droid. The octa droids. Sure. Yeah, sure. They're deploying octa droids behind our lines. Octa but you're tri droids. Yeah. Oh well. That's what the HMPs are for. My God. He immediately seems to be some talking frantically to to some other people, and he immediately goes back. <sighs> this makes a lot more sense now. When we last called in, they said that a lot of HMPs were trying to do bombing runs. Turns out they weren't bombing. They added octopus droids. Be careful. You might find some anywhere, even in the forest you're in. And I promise you, you do not want to fight anything that big in this type of area. Alright, uh, noted advisor. Um, still need a, uh, a potential extraction point or close nearby CP to, re to regroup with... Alright, you guys are heading in from the beach, right? Yes. Alright. Uh, Alright, if you face north, which is where the beach is... Uh, let me check here. Head east, uh... Far east seems to be a uh, Wookiee village, uh, the head one of this area. We have some guys back there. They might be able to help you. Hopefully they have a medical tent set up, at least for the locals. All right, Solikabi, uh advisor, we will move to east, correct? Yes, dead east. All right. All right, we're, uh, we're on the move. Uh, we'll report back in if I uh, discovered or encounter things. All right, sounds good. This has been advisor. Good luck, three twenty seventh. Out. Any? Out. We're done. <laughs> all right, so. All right, so we're gonna. I'm gonna lead the boys. Into the the forest a little. All right. Well, right now we are facing south. So. All right. So we're gonna head east. Okay. So you guys start moving through the brush. Uh, through the brush. <laughs> you can see that it's very dense. The fact that people walk through here astonishes you. And then you can tell that the Wookiee Villages seems to set up above the trees. Being on the forest floor is, seems to be almost death. And then you encounter a small spider. A actual small looking spider. The correct the the name is something that you are unaware of. However, if you wanted to roll uh history you might be able to tell. Ah uh, sure, we'll roll for roll for history. Okay. Let me uh what is your wisdom? Uh plus one. Okay. You have no idea what that thing is. That is the scariest looking thing you've ever seen in your entire life. What is Holy that? That is shit. what. What is that thing? You don't know what that is. Oh. You've never seen it before. Oh That's disgusting. It's small. It's a small spider. But like, what is that? You don't know. How how could you possibly know? That thing's disgusting. I don't know, but I'm about to hit it with my rifle. The butt of my rifle. <laughs> I hit it. I hit it with the butt of my rifle. While carrying him in your hands. What's your strength? Uh, uh plus two. Okay, you just absolutely bat it with your gun, just like, mm. <laughs> What do you hold it? And it just, it, it turns over on its back, and it 
screeches, and it dies. It's dead. I can't do a screech, or else I will right, um... die. <laughs> vocal cords. I so... tried, but... <laughs> sure, cool. that's fine. Um, I'm also going to roll for a perception to see if there's any ambush ahead. Uh, okay. What is your wisdom? Uh, plus one. Okay, nothing's going on. You, you don't see any enemy like or CAS or anything. Actually, this side of the forest seems to be completely clear. clear. If you just book it, you might be able to make it to the Wookiee City. Okay, so uh, we're going to go ahead and head towards that way. In a sprint, or are you going to be careful? Like, how are you going to do this? We're gonna we're gonna be mindful. Okay, so you guys, and, you guys gonna try to I, you trying to do it stealthily or just like walk normally? Like it's a a it's more of a uh, a cautious movement, not stealth. Like just be okay. at the ready. So you, you quickly look around. You're, you're you're walking there, but you're being careful. Like just making sure I'm clear. And what is your perception again? Uh, plus one. All right, you. And you guys are just going to keep walking into the city? Yes. Okay, and right when you get to about here, you realize you tripped over a wire, and it breaks. What's your dexterity? Uh, it is plus two. All right, and you quickly roll out of the way, and the other the pilots aren't as lucky, oh. and they get hit by a tree just bam the second pilot that was injured falls to the floor he wasn't hit but the first pilot that's not the pilot that's spider gets just boom blasted into the tree and he goes uh, 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 and he is fine but unconscious on the floor spider i hate uh what is your constitution again quickly kind of don't remember Spider. Uh, you're, you're muted, there. by the way, if you don't if. remember. If. That's okay. deafened. There we go. My constitution is 11. Okay. You wake back up, and you go, ah, oh, and you feel the pain in your leg, and you scream before quickly realizing where you are, and I shut up. And you can stand, but not on that leg. You can, if I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay Spider down. Okay. Against the tree. All right, Spider, you you can actually talk now if you'd like. Give battle plans or whatever. Uh, Priff, this leg hurts, man. This leg hurts, <laughs> man. Are you good? Any? Uh, I'll live. Any? Any? Okay, just live. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go check on the other pilot. We just got hit by a trap. He's just got it. He 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 got hit in the chest. He's not doing great. What's and I hate to ask, what's your intelligence? It will be zero. Right. Mm -hmm. And you can tell he's been hit in the chest. He's actually fine, just unconscious. It was just the hit of it, and he's this... just got the wind knocked out of him. He's probably broken a rib or two. Or all. All of them. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, are you oh my god, are you... this planet's brutal as hell. Just like Endor Man. It's like Endor Man? Why are you shaggy? And then, um... <laughs> the second, second pilot's still unconscious, right? Yeah, no, he's unconscious as well. Everyone's okay. unconscious. Shit, okay. Um, alright, so... I I I uh, I get Spider up to speed. What uh, what has happened? Um, advisor okay. has has moved east towards the nearest Wookiee city, uh, which is currently over that way. As I point. All right. And then um, we're not that far out. I can probably go ahead on my own. Are you able to walk? I can just not on my. Not on the busted leg. Okay. Um. I would. I would. I would. Uh, I would go ahead and go towards the town to get some help if I can. If you. If you look off through these two. Got it. I'll keep an eye on these two. Okay. 
All yeah. right, all right. So I'm going to go ahead, uh, nod, and I will uh, head towards the town. You're leaving them? Yes, um, to get help. Okay, in that case, Spider, uh, I'm going, if you are staying here, I'm going to have to move you, your channel, so you will no longer be in the same channel as us. Do not leave that channel. Uh, you're just going to chill. But you are no longer with us, technically. The city, it's massive, yay! <laughs> uh, the city, it's gigantic. And two-dimensional, but shh, gigantic. <laughs> And you can immediately see that there's Wookiees watching. But for some reason, they seem to be a bit low-numbered. Not because of the war, but just most of them seem depressed. Like there's something going on. Something else that you haven't heard about. You're not really sure. But you you get here. What are you doing? All right. Um, since the advisor told me there might be a friendly clone unit here, I'm going to... I'm going to... Uh, look for him. All right. Well, if you uh, in the front of you is there's this big gigantic building that seems to be some sort of town hall uh, leaders, and then on the right and left there seems to be just some sort of regular buildings. You're not really sure. Okay. Um, town hall usually sounds important, so I might head towards town hall. All right. So you immediately you run, you sprint, you go inside, you break open the doors. The two Wookies are like, "What's going on?" They and the chieftain walks down. And he starts speaking, but you don't understand him. Okay. Um, I'm hopefully he understands Galactic Basic, but um, I'm going to... Um, so I'm going to say, I can't... I, I'm sorry I can't understand you. Is there anyone that looks like me? And I point at me. He nods. And he, oh, he calls oh, okay. over a, hold on, he calls over sorry, one second. <clears throat> what is your computer knowledge, which would be intelligence. It would be zero. Okay. He immediately, you immediately recognize this is a medical droid, and it walks towards you. And it starts speaking, and it goes, Your friends are being healed in the medical facility. They have sustained serious injuries. Most will not make it. I am sorry. Any points toward the building on the left. I, well, yeah, your left, his right. And goes back, and he seems to be walking. Oh, he's going to walk he, and ask him? Uh, no, he's he's just heading back to the medical thing. If they're about to die. He needs to work. Oh, yeah, okay. Hey, that's the lunch thing. Hold on. There. <laughs> Storage. Hey, did I flip it? Oh. No, never mind. I have it set up here. Sorry. Um, I I look at the chief and, and says, "Can you spare some help? I some of my friends are hurt." He I, I tilts his head. That. He's thinking about it, nods, and again he points toward where the medical droid went. So the medical facility. Okay. And then he picks up a bowcaster and points to it, and then points to himself like he's asking you something. Okay, uh, I feel like you're trying to have me do something. Um, I'm sorry, but I don't know. All right, what is... He then shakes his head and goes... he keeps pointing to himself and then oh, he you're... and then he points his gun like a warrior and he keeps and then he points to another warrior and he points to himself and oh, he aims great uh, then, uh come i'll lead you to them then you get pulled out 
All right. Uh, he he's still he's not sure you understand. So you're gonna roll wisdom. Okay. What is your wisdom? Wisdom is plus one. Okay. You may understand that he's asking about warriors and how they were doing at the beach. Oh. It, it was a massacre. A lot of them, a lot of them were shot down by the droids. After some hearing, them, after hearing, some... he won't even let you finish. He immediately goes into a roar, goes on his knees, and starts just roaring. And then you can see that the two guards roar, and the others continue to go. And like, it seems like they're all in mourning. And um, I. I promise you, your friends will not die in vain. We will fight these, the separatists, and get knock them off your planet. He turns away. He's 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 too. It seems like he's lost something important, and he, like someone important, and goes and goes back and just walks away. The two other Wookies, they raise their arms like they're flexing. And then look like they're trying to pick up something. And they point at you. And then they point out to the forest. I nod and, then, and I tell them to follow. Alright, they immediately fall rank behind you. And they walk to the forest. Now I'm not going to load the next map. I'm just going to pull Spider in here. If that's okay. okay. Yeah, it's cool. That saves a lot of time. Yeah. I understand. I understand how tabletop works on that sometimes. Well, it's just like loading and then unloading and then. Hi, Spider. Hey. Okay. Hey, Rod. Any luck? Oh, hold on. Where uh, Ghost will be. Uh, I guess yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm trying to. I'm getting the uh, models ready. Okay. Yeah, that's good. All right. <clears throat> you notice that the first, the first one, the first pilot is fine, even though he's broken ribs. But the second pilot, he looks t terrible. His his helmet fell off. And he's clearly not doing so good. The two Wookiees pick him up, and they they just sprint using all the Wookiee strength they can, and they just hoist him, and just start running to the medical facility. And I'm I'm gonna sling Spider, helping him, so you don't have to walk on that bad leg. Well, you can just you, well you're gonna do the hand over the shoulder thing, and then that yeah, or okay, yeah, so you, you hobble. Have him hobble, but not let him step on that messed up leg of his. All right. Ha, see, it looks good because the uh, that's not great. So you hobble, and he, he he moves, and you guys eventually get up the stairs, and you see a, some sort of storage room, and then you get to the medical facility, and you realize there are tons of unconscious clones lying on beds. Or what seems to be makeshift beds on the floor. They're not even a real medical facility, even. It's a makeshift hospital. There are two more medical droids. They're doing all they can. Alright, Spider. I don't think you're critically deaf, but we need to get the other brothers first. That needs to be tended. They're more critical. I would say, right. sit tight, and I'm sure help will get to you. So, um, okay. you guys all get in there. I'm assuming, do you want to do like a long rest, since... Oh, yeah. Um, long rest. We're, we're, we're going to sit there and take a breather. Well, all of you can... So, alright. So, all of you are now taking long rest. Mm -hmm. You get... You all take a long rest, and you all are at full health now. So if you, any damage you took, put it to full. Uh, now, Spider, your leg is still pretty messed up. You have a cast on it now, so now you can subtract your max movement by 10. 
Alrighty. Okay. Okay. And now all of your all of your movement will be minus ten. And going prone will cost your full movement instead of half. And all right, and all of the clones seem to be doing better. Actually, let me. So. They all get up, and it seems that you don't know how long you've been asleep, but after the battle, you all just, you, all, you wake up. And all these clones seem to start, they're starting to talk, and they seem to be a lot better. Now, the two pilots, they're still unconscious, and a medical droid walks up to you, and he says, The first pilot is fine. Unfortunately, we lost the second one. Damn. And he looks over, and you can see that pilot one is crying over the second pilot. His dead body is laying on the floor in what seems to be, might as well be stray and wood. Straw and uh... wood. And the medical droid walks away. I, I go to the to the pilot one, and I uh, put my hand on his shoulder. And it's like, you did all you could, soldier. Um, I'm, I'm in, like I'm encouraging him, not um, and uh, so you did all you could. You, you fought. You did the best you could. I fought. I fought, huh? Yeah, that's right. Well, I was just shot out of the air. I lost my best bud today, and you're telling me that I did everything I could. Yeah, right, I did. I could have flown better. I could have avoided that. No way you know that. <sighs> Seriously? Oh, oh, well, what about you? You knew he was injured. Why didn't you grab him and bring him here first? <laughs> Why? I guess all of you were trying to get everyone to help you. Oh, because I oh I bet carrying him would have been too much trouble. <laughs> and he just continues to just hollow and, and you can tell he's he's not gonna be able to he he yeah he, he can't talk right now. Okay. And then I go back to Spider Man and I was like I did what I was right. Spider, he, he's talking to you. Right. There's not much we can do now. We just have to fight on for the brothers that can't. Rot, what is your strength? Uh, plus two. You just get absolutely punched in the side of the head. You get decked. You fall on the floor. You take a singular point of damage. Okay. The pilot, pilot one stands up next to you, and he goes for a grapple, and he holds you. He got, he has you in a lock, and he, he, he's choking you out. Like literally choking. Literally choking you out. Okay. And he has you in grapple, and Spider, what is your move here? I try to de-escalate the situation, tell, telling, uh, telling the pilot to calm down. All right, what's your charisma? It's a 10. Why should I? This guy's the reason that my best friend is dead. My brother. All right, uh... Is there a way I can... Not right now. Okay. Spider and him are having a conversation. So Spider, respond. Well, you still have us. We're still your brothers, and we still got a mission to fulfill. It was just an unfortunate circumstance that your brother had to perish. Our brother had to perish. Perish. Right, because we're just another number, right? Because you don't care. What you do is you go in there, you shoot your big guns, and you drop in, and you don't care because we're just chauffeurs. We just get you from point A to point frickin' B. But I promise you, I'm done with this. I can't. I can't anymore. And so, and he lets, he just goes limp and he lets Rot get off and he just 
he goes back and he, he drops his gun and he goes on his knees and he's silently just looking down at his hands. What's your play there? Um, I gripped my throat a little. Right. Because obviously I was in a little pain. That's true. Um, I don't, I don't say a word. I just give him the glare, and I turn around and walk away. All right. Spider. We'll give a fallen brother a funeral that that he deserves. Right now. Because uh, picking up his body or something. Time, yeah. All right. So wait, you're picking him up now? Or... No, I'm not picking him up now, but later. Like, later. All right, I got gotcha. you. See, I'm assuming you guys go to the other. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna listen in in their conversations that they and let's see if I can hear anything peculiar or of note. Well, they all start talking about what essentially the same thing you experienced. They apparently were on some other beach, and uh, an HMP dropped in an octopedroid, and, well, they all were injured, and the Wookiees were held captive. Okay. But they uh, seem to be really wanting to get back into the fight. Um, okay. One uh, looks at you, and he goes, wait... You guys, the reinforcements? Oh, you guys are SF, aren't you? Man, we could have used special forces back there. And I bet you guys took out your octopus droid, right? Yeah, we, uh, yeah, I took one clean, clean shot through the eyes. And the eyes? Down. Yes. We tried to get the legs. Oh, no, that's no. brilliant. And he goes back and he, he says, the eyes, guys, the freaking eyes. And they're all like, oh, right. And they're all, they're all essentially like, well, but one of them. He's not happy. He's not excited of what's going on. He doesn't want to fight. He's just sitting there brooding on a stool. Sorry, uh... Appropriate name. Emo clone. <laughs> Emo clone? <laughs> Alright. Alright. Uh... Alright, sorry. Too cool... Ball. Skew. Skew. There you go. His name's too cool for school. Alright. <laughs> I would, uh. Let's see. Spider. How's that lake holding Yeah, we're on. Are you, are you ready? Are you ready to get back out there? You think you can it's find getting, It's getting better. I just. It's just if I if I lean on the leg, it hurts a bit. What what say to you, trooper? Other than that, give it some. I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was trying to say, give it, giving it some time, it'll fully heal, hopefully. Glad to hear. And I glare at the other troopers. You troopers, are you good to fight? Are you still? Are you ready to fight? Yeah, we're ready to go. Let's do this. And they're all like, yeah, yeah, we, we're 100% good. And the too cool for school guy looks up, stands up, and goes, yeah, because you all hid. These guys may think they're everything, and they may want to fight now, but I promise you, a couple hours ago, or whatever time it is now, they hid. They're not real clones. They aren't real soldiers. They're babies. Nothing. Might as well go back to Camino. Do training I, all over again. And I, I go up and look him dead in the eye and says, We're not cowards. But we're smart. And we're going to go back for a counterattack, trooper. There wouldn't need to be a counterattack if these men did that job. We lost too many men in that battle. You guys didn't even show up yet. I don't know what you were doing. Probably telling stories behind a campfire. <laughs> Me? Yeah, I took hits. I, I, I bled. What is this one from my friend here? He bled too. Yeah. You're saying we sit around behind a campfire? 
I'm just saying. You guys didn't show up. Alright, you weren't there. You don't understand what happened. These boys, ask them, ask them, promise you. I doubt they'll lie to your faces. They hid, they didn't do anything. I bet none of them even fired. Now why are you seem like you're pr pressing for all of this? Maybe you got something to hide. Me? No. Yeah. I don't have a, I don't have something to hide. I have a problem with soldiers who don't do their duty. What do you think, Spider? Well, have you ever taken a direct shot from one of those spider droids to the leg? I don't think so, because I've been there and done that. And we were there on another beach, away from y'all, fighting our own battle as well, helping the Wookiees. <laughs> oh, hey. injury through the leg, huh? He takes off his helmet, and you can see he doesn't have an eye. Oh, I got this one just a few hours ago. And he takes off his leg, and you can see that it's not a real leg, it's a metal leg. His left leg. I've been through more than either of you will experience in your lifetimes, and I highly suggest, I don't care what training you've gone to, I don't care if you're SF, I don't care what you've done, I've done more than you ever will, and I doubt you've even taken fire before, so just, you calm down, tell these soldiers what's up, I'm leaving, and I'm going to fight, and he picks up his gun, puts on his armor, puts on his helmet, and just starts walking. I, then I, I pull off my helmet, and he's like, look at me. I went through all this too, and you see all no, like nothing. It's just the face. My face is completely just. He he goes. He 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 looks away and he smirks and he turns around and he just sees, sees you and he's, and he, he if his eye could open, you could tell. And it just he steps back, mouth opens, and it gapes. And the rest of the soldiers take a step back. One of them, almost falling off. Spider's acting completely normal through all this, like, not this again. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what is up with Rot? Oh, that's right. I mean, his name is Rot, and he did suffer. Third degree burns. Yep. So, and he goes, like, I, I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't, I didn't know. I, I, Look, we all want the same thing. But we can't just go and die just like that. We have to go and regroup and counterattack. Yeah. Right on, Rod. We yeah, have you're to right. live to we have to live to fight another day. He puts on back he puts his helmet back on and he sits and I, down. I, I turn around, I look at here, we're here for one reason, to liberate these Wookiees from the Klinkas. And that by by just by God, by God, we're gonna do it. Yay! <laughs> they all say yay, but I'm really too I'm too tired to scream. Yeah! That's what they all there do. We yeah. There you go. That's better. Yeah! There we go. So no. So there we are. All right. And the Wookiees, after seeing what just went down, they're like, oh, snap. Because they all, they all seem to understand basic. And the Wookiees seem to be excited as well, and they go, oh, uh, uh crap. I can't do it. Yes, that's close enough. That's perfect. That, they do that. And in, in celebration, and they seem like they want to fight, and they all raise their bowcasters. So there are two. Alright, guys. Seems that you have the pick of the litter on this one. These soldiers. At Pilot 1, after seeing what he just saw and after seeing Rot's face, he seems to be. He, seems to, he just stops mourning and he takes off his helmet and you can tell the tears streaming down. And he looks like he's questioning himself. And he walks to the storage room and looks off the balcony. The medical droid starts preparing Pilot 2. Pilot 2 for burial? Yes. Alright. So.
I'm trying yeah. to think of it. That's a move. I'm sorry. Hey, take your time, man. Uh, Spider, what do you what, what would you like to do? This is out of character. I'm yeah. <laughs> well, we need to figure out figure out a beachhead where where we can fight back these droids and and also figure out what where they haven't attacked yet and get there before they do. I have a suggestion. Go ahead, Rot. Well, since they have secured the beaches, we can we can probably set up hasty ambushes in the trees, in the forest lines, set up traps, um, and just take them out. And then, when the time right, we push them back. Hmm. Right, and the Wookiees can help us because they know they know the forest really well, better than we do. It's gonna look great. Okay. Anyway. Back to it. Continue. I apologize. Okay, so um, quick recap. Um, we we decided a game plan. We're gonna have the trooper, the bo uh, the troopers, and the Wookies set up back in the forest, making hasty ambushes from above the tree lines and probably from below. Um, and then when the time's right, we're gonna push them back to the beach. Sounds good. They're all going, sounds good, sounds great, let's do this. I'm ready. All right, I want to fight for my right <laughs> to party. <laughs> all those, you know, they're pumped. They're ready. A Wookiee comes up to you with a medical droid. Not this one. And he starts speaking, and the droid is interpreting. And he goes, It seems the Wookiees have a problem. They would like you to assist them. The chief might want to speak with you. If you've noticed, their populations are low. Of course, do what you need to do. But when you're done, the chief would like to see you. Okay, um... Before you go, um, uh, that spider right here is my commanding officer. I think he would like to speak to him. I'm just, I was just there to get, try to get help. I get, there is no back. need to speak now. I understand. You can ask me any questions you need, but I understand that you want to fight first. The beach needs retaking, and the chief has sent his finest warriors to help reclaim his family. If you've noticed... One of the snipers in the towers was his son. Now, I do not know if he's dead, and he would like to know. Alright, so last time we saw him was at the beach, and the power scene on tower went off. I think I seen one that ran off. I think that might be his son. What direction uh, did he run off to? Uh, can I, can I get a, uh... I would say history check, right? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can remember that because I don't remember that. Do you would say it would be far west? Far west. I saw him heading towards far west. After seeing that, the Wookiee understands west, and he has this terrified expression. The droid, even though he's a droid, seems to calculate something and goes, "That will factor into the chief's decision. He has still sent his men." I suggest reclaiming the Wookiees first, and we will explain what is happening in the West later. If you'd like to do it now, however, talk with the Chief. Is there any questions you have for me? Uh, what's what's happening West? Oh, I guess that's that that yeah, that's fair. That's a fair question. Uh, let's just say many many of the Wookiees have gone missing. We do not know from what, but we believe it to be some sort of creature. Some set of creatures. Local f uh, wildlife? Uh, yes. We believe it to be spiders. Which means wishcocks, but I'm translating it. Wishcocks. Wish wishooks? Wishocks? Wish mm -hmm. things. The creatures oh. with the stuff. Yes. I, I'm, I, I, 
I even remembered, and I kind of shivered that idea. I was like, oh. Because I remember I smashed one with the butt of my rifle. Yes. I'm surprised you didn't encounter a bigger one in the forest. I suppose you got big... lucky. There's bigger ones? They're called the Wushuk. Wushuk. Bigger ones. <laughs> There's ones the size of four Wookiees. Combined. The strength of them, too. Maybe more. <sighs> Will small blasts of fire suffice against them? <sighs> You'd have to shoot them a lot for it to count, but... Yes, I, su I assume that many of you together could. But the Wookiees would know best. That's why we would like you to carry out the rescue mission first. Alright, um... But yeah, saying this to the DM real quick. Uh, uh -huh. for, for a famous example of the Wushuk, uh, spiders... Yeah, the yeah, Shuk, Fallen Order. Uh, fallen they're, order. Yeah, they're in fall, Fallen Order. Yeah, well, I know. I just didn't know how to pronounce it. Okay. But I was supposed to make it ominous, so when you see them, it's scary. Alright, spiders Ooh. are cool. Okay, spider. Time to tell us how we fight the spiders with the spiders. But you can also okay. fight the giant spider on the beach, if you want to, spider. Okay, spider. The, the mechanical spider, I mean, on the beach. Not not a giant regular spider. The giant regular spider is west, as said before. Spider. Right. I would say the weak spots for these creatures is its face. You looking it up. You can't no. do that. That's cheating. I'm not. I'm just. This is like pure speculation. Like, okay. If we're talking about the. Uh, I'm not saying that's like true. The, uh, I'm just, you know, I, I have it like in my. Like the living somewhere. creatures and stuff? Like mm -hmm. the living spiders? Like, you know, they are Well, I'm just ones. saying, like, you guys are allowed to like, research. Yeah, you shoot those in the face. You're allowed to research pre mission, not during. Then you use advisor, if necessary. Uh, Alright, this, this is just from what I'm thinking up right now. Like, I'm not even. Those eye shots was a lot. I didn't even pick up any information. Well, that's from the show, I assume. Yeah. It's in the movie. Clone Wars movie, I mean. Not Attack of the Clones, by the way. Just Clone Wars animated movie. Okay. Anyway. Any other questions for the medical droid? Okay, um... No, that's, that's about it. Spider... Commander, whatever the heck your name is. Do you have any questions? Oh, hey, yeah. I was already looking. Wait, wait, wait. Which one's Spider? Hey. Oh. Uh. -oh. uh, oh. uh <laughs> okay. Right. Um. I was wondering if there's any maps of where these beach attacks have been taking place at, besides the ones that we have encountered. Hmm. Maps? Uh, not really. I, you can't really access any of the other beaches. It's one long beach. Your other forces would have to deal with it. I would suggest calling your ed commander or advisor or whatever to determine what your mission should be to, with dealing with the beach. Maybe reinforcements are in hand. Maybe there's a specific way you should do it. I would call with them first. Got it. And with that, whoop, it powers off in the corner. You realize it's already night. It's dark. Loopy time. Okay. Well, we <laughs> really need to secure those beaches back, but the chieftain seems very concerned for his son. He really needs our help. It's a hard call. It's your choice. The Wookiee numbers may help, but you're running out of time as well. It's all up to you. 